Good evening and welcome back once again. So, on to the second leg of the cup against Galatasaray. So there you go, yeah, it was 2-1 last time. From what I remember, it was 2-0 for most of the game and then we let a goal in right at the death, which has made this match a little bit more interesting. So let's just jump in, see what the lineups are for this week. So again, Nick Pope and Rice are on international duty, so they're not available. So we've got Karius and Bellingham filling those roles. Same back four that we would normally pick. We have got Brian Hill coming in on the right in place of Almiron. Got Joe, Joe Linton playing in the attacking midfielder role centre in place of Bruno. And St. Maximum coming in on the left um, in place of Reina who started the last game. And the usual two suspects up front, Liao and Isaac. So let's join in the first half. Let's hope we can kill this cup tie off pretty early on. Yeah, we've been letting in a few goals recently, not like shipping loads of goals every match, but been quite consistently letting in one goal each game, which I, I'm not I'm not really a fan of. You know, you can't keep a clean sheet all the time, but we're letting some sloppy goals. Um, and in the last match, in the league match, that obviously actually affected us because we only managed to score one goal, which isn't like us, but... You know, that's when you need your defence to step in. I mean, we really had enough chances to kill the game off, to be fair. You know, we should have been 3 or 4 nil up. Um, and then in the second half, it just went a bit scrappy. And we, we eventually had let in that goal, which I think the, the, the opposition deserved um, in the end. Chance here, though. And jolin has got the goal. Proving his worth. He's on a red up, which, you know, if you've got to play like that, um, sometimes you've just got to play them. Great one from Maximum into the box. Lays a simple ball across to, to Joe Linton. For a split second, I thought he might have missed it. Um, but it's quite clearly going in there. Yeah. So that's 3-1 overall now. So Galatas have really got to come out. Guns blazing, really, to have a chance. And that plays in our favour. We do play well on the counter. Good uh, interception from Cardiol there. That's uh, not my intended pass, but never mind. That was a poor ball. Yeah, he'd already run offside there. Um, it's a poor run more than a poor ball, actually. Davies with a nice tackle there. A good tackle from Bellingham. That's what we need. We need a bit of grit in midfield. You know, sometimes we just we're losing those 50-50 chance, 50 -50 tackles and sort of chances. Um, it's a bit better. Oh, Isaac now two 0 Lovely little finish there. Lovely calm finish from Isaac. Just lets it run past them on his right and just slides on into the keeper. Nice. And one thing I, I keep forgetting to do is actually changing the squad numbers, which I'm normally quite a big fan of if you know selecting especially when you make quite a few signings. Um and I can't remember on pair six whether you can do that any time or if it's just in the transfer windows or even potentially just at season end. I'll have to have a look into that, if I remember. Not that it matters really too much, but I, I like those little details. Oh, Davies, who's been quality since we bought him. Gets it back. Oh, lovely save. It's just outstretched maximum there. He couldn't get the power into it. Good save from the keeper. Oh, maximum with a clear sighted goal there. Gotta keep that down. Strange header from Bellingham.
Yeah, I know Brian Hill hasn't been playing probably anywhere near as much as he wanted to, but he's looking like a real promising player for the future. Um, he's up in again. Oh, not so calm that time. You know, Almond's 29 now, I think, so he's getting to that stage where maybe not going to sell him yet, but probably not going to be our first choice next season um, on on that uh, right-sided attacking midfielder role. So, Brian Hill's got to step up a little bit. There's plenty of people that can play in that position, but ideally we want a, a left footer. Maximum again, and again it's over. I haven't found a way to really keep those headers down. Um, like I literally just tapped the power button there. Oh, lovely ball through to Isaac again. Oh, what a finish that was. Similar to the first one, but from a much tighter angle. Had to put a bit more power into it to beat the keeper. Couldn't just slide it underneath him. Lovely finish. Very nice. Fantastic ball though. Yeah, I mean Galatasaray must be a bit disheartened now. You know, the, the, coming to this, they did well in the first leg, getting that goal right towards the end, keeping them in it, and um, they've just blown it within sort of 30 minutes. You know, they had to really get the first goal. Oh, I thought Isaac was in again there. Potentially for Patrick is this time. Good block from the defender. Even a substitution already on 39 minutes. I'm not surprised with the way they play though. There's the hour. What, what can he do? Yeah, oh, good save. I just try to place that one. You can place the shots with R2 after you've pre pressed the shoot button. Whilst the power is still displaying, um, you can't hold R2 whilst you're taking it. It's a little bit more tricky. Um, you've got to time it. I think anyone that is watching, and I don't get massive amount of views on this. Hang on a minute. Good save. Nope. Poor defending there. Yeah, I just couldn't, couldn't get in in time. <clears throat> so again, we haven't kept a clean sheet. Yeah. I'll pick up what I was going to say at the start of the second half, I think. Um, Isaacson again. Oh, good save. They nearly caught the keeper out. From that angle, the keeper should never be letting that in, but... Um, Bellingham. Oh, what a finish. Lovely goal from Bellingham. I've got to change Bellingham's appearance. He looks like about a 40-year-old substitute teacher or something, but... Um, yeah... Laid it back from Brian Hill. Oh, lovely place finish there. Boom, straight at the camera. And there's half time. Really impressed with that first half. We did everything we didn't manage to do in the last game, in the league game, which was actually finishing when we've got the chance, putting in quality finishes. That's what we need to do. And just starting the second half, if I look at the top, you know, Brian Hill's actually got two assists today. So it was said he needs to really improve. But that right side of our attack, Brian Hill playing on the right and playing in those through balls to Isaac has been key. Um, you know, not just the goals that we've scored, but there's been another two or three chances on that side where Isaac's skinning the defender, but the pass has been perfect each time. So I reckon Brian Hill might be pushing for that to be a permanent uh, spot of his 
Uh, but what I was going to say, if, just for people, for people watching, anyone that happens to watch this video or any regulars, I was potentially thinking of doing a, a sort of guide to, to Master League on PS6. It is different each year. And this is an older one, so not as many people are going to be playing this. Um, I know a few people have asked about where you can download this, and I've tried to share, you know, details of where I can. That's yeah, offside. Um, but if anyone would be interested in a Master League guide, let me know what you think, because I could run through sort of the options you select at the start, uh, the transfer window, training, all that sort of stuff. It might take me a bit of time to put it together, but if you think that would be worthwhile, um, I am certainly would be happy to do that. Um, something I've been thinking about for a while, so go tap off and Claudio on. It just runs out. Going to start making some subs as normal around about the 60 minute mark. Just letting another goal. That is so sloppy. And that was terrible keeping. There's no way Pope's letting that in. Um, not a great header out, but that's not even a great header. What is the keeper doing there? The game's not over yet. Brian chasing down. He did lose it, but he's you know chasing it down afterwards. I think one of his weaknesses is is his strength, really, um, lack of it. Just trying to play it across these up, but the angle was too tight to try and wrap my foot around it. Get it across the face of the goal. It goes straight at the keeper. Somehow I kick that off the pitch. Just this point we've had such a good game and you know they've had like two chances and they've scored them and there haven't been even good goals from my point of view. The out oh, Brian Hill has got another assist. I'm gonna have to look at his passing um, stats sometime, but he must have some really good um Stats on like through balls and short passes. Lovely ball between the two defenders, but you know, just soft enough to um, not allow the keeper to get into it. Look at that, three assists now. So let's make some changes. Okay, so I'm actually going to bring Lascelles on for a few minutes for Gavardiol just to give him a rest. And I'm actually trying something a little bit different. So again, I'm putting St. Maximum up front, which I've done before, but I'm actually going to put Rayner up there as well. And I've brought on Willock. Um, to, to come on the left so we're actually going to have St. Maximum and Rayner up front um, I certainly don't want to take Hill off he's been playing well, Joe Layton's been playing pretty well and he's full of energy so let's just jump in with that see if that um, can get us a, another goal or two Ball. Good spot, but the execution wasn't that great. Um, trying to get Brian, Brian Hill in there. Oh, that's not a foul. I got, clearly got the ball there. Clearly got the ball. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, Brian Hill is on a condition red which is great um, but that also d does vastly improve passing and shooting and things like that so that's probably not maybe a standard range um, but I certainly think he's pushing for that spot on the right hand side look at him again Rainer oh. seemed to be a nice turn but the defender managed to block it Good tackle from Hill there. Flew into that tackle. And he's somehow over there now. He's putting in a shift today. That's a 
shock and ball. Good block. Now Brian Hill's on it again. Not a good ball that time. But he wins it back. He plays a nice ball out wide to Willock. Willock. Oh my word. Do you know what's strange? I don't think Brian Hill's going to get an assist for that because for some reason, once you've passed it, if, you, if the uh, person you pass it to doesn't score within like so many seconds, like quite a small amount, it doesn't count as an assist, which is a shame because this is a nice ball out wide and then work. To be fair, it's a really nice finish. Um, I'm sure, the keeper won't be happy with that. That was pretty well played. Yeah, if we have a quick look. Yeah, didn't count as an assist, which I think is ridiculous. And I know they changed that in different games. They lowered it in some. So as long as it was basically the last pass, some you had more time. This one was very tight with uh, those timings, which I didn't agree with. And oh, what is that? Davies, what are you doing? Why didn't you just get rid of it? Oh. That was all me. And um, that wasn't, you know. Oh, lovely ball from Hill again. Nice tackle, but Rainer should have done better. And another good tackle from Hill. He's got to be man of the match, surely. He's not man of the match. The rating system is even more screwed up than I thought. Oh, what a pass that was. Rainer, oh poor finish, rushed it a little bit, well if you've watched today you've certainly got your money's worth on goals, I think that might be a new record, I think the previous we had was 8 goals in a match for both teams, I think, um, obviously there's 9 now, Just trying to think. I'm sure we had a 5-3 once. Willock again, he's really introduced some pace on this uh, it's poor ball though oops good tackle Brian Hill could be in here can he finish it off? no, but Maximum can <laughs> oh, I wish Brian Hill had a score that he deserved it, but 7-3 10 goals in a match, that's definitely a record for us in this uh, Master League mode, at least this career mode. I'm sure I've had games in other versions where I've scored similar amounts. But yeah, cut inside, keep it actually, to be fair, made a good save. And Nelly made the follow up save, he flung himself across. Have we got time for one more? Surely not. Ah, oh, it's a poor pass. There it is though. 7-3 and we're through to the next round. What a goal fest. And just looking at the ratings, I'm actually really happy with those today. Brian Hill, without doubt, man of the match. Davies with a 5.5, I agree with that, just from that shock and pass he played. Carrius with a 5, again agree, don't think the keeping was very good. I think that third goal was all down to Davies, that was completely on him, but the other two, if if it had been Pope and goal, I don't think these those would have gone in. Um, all of our front line played well, and yeah, even the subs came on and did well. I mean, obviously Lascelles played at the back and didn't really have the ball, so... Um, yeah, really happy with that match. Plenty of goals for, for you guys to watch too. But that's it for now, guys. Next match is against Ajax. Again, I really appreciate anyone watching these videos and following um, the series. Um, there is one person I'd like to mention who seems to comment on nearly every single video I, I do, and I, like, I really appreciate it. Um, and apologies for the pronunciations, if I get it wrong, but... His name is uh, Diego, I think it's Diego Lima, or Diogo. Um, again, you can um, 
tell me if I've got that pronunciation incorrect, but um, thank you for your support. I know you seem to watch most of the videos and I do appreciate you commenting. Anyone, anyone else watching, if you can like to leave some comments down below. Do you like the idea of the, um, the Master League guide? Would you like to see anything else? Um, please subscribe if you if you like this series and and you want to keep up to date with it but other than that I'll see you all next time for the game against Ajax thanks once again